Hey everybody, and welcome back to another episode of FS Passengers with me, and you heard 37. So we are here in Manchester, uh, New Hampshire, I believe, and we're going to be going up to Ottawa. It was a request up to CYND, I believe that's Gastineau. So let's go ahead and get this started. This is probably going to be our last flight in this plane, by the way. I think we're going to sell it uh, when we get up there, uh, maybe in the next episode, but... We're going to sell it and get something else, I think. All right. It's got two passengers, for sure. Uh, fuel. Let's not screw it up this time. I think 50% is actually pretty, pretty good, really. I'm trying to think. I think that would actually be good. I think that would be, you know, more than enough to get us there. Because I think this thing can go close to 700 miles. I'm not sure if that's totally loaded, but um, this is only this is a little less than 300 miles. I think it's like 292 maybe. So not that not that far. All right, 200 pounds. That's pretty good. All right, set the type. Go to normal flight, of course. Set our destination. That is, you can see it. C. Y N D. There you go. Ottawa Gatineau. Gatineau? I said Gatineau. Or like Gatineau? Destination so we'll set that. Set. All right. Load immediately. Check Make sure we got our two people. Check I still do that because it took me forever to realize why I wasn't getting my passengers. It's because I wasn't actually loading them up in that previous screen. All right. By the way, we're going to use the joystick. I'm not using the pedals in the yoke today. No huge reason why. Why? Uh, can I actually call them, even though the battery's not on and everything? Because I was going to have them push us back before we start up. Trying to do it a little better. Um, I guess we're really kind of going out west. A little bit more than north. Alright, so I can't. Right, we'll turn on the battery. Seriously? Um, there we go. Let's set this to 6,500 feet. Might actually go a little bit higher. 8,500 actually. Turn on the progressive taxi, because I want to get this thing started up before we run out of juice from the battery. All right, so go ahead and I let it push back. This is the parking brake. Shift P. All right, now that uh, they're pushing us back, let's go ahead and get it started up. Turn on the beacon and the nav. And fuel pump. We'll push that in. I almost forget about that. All right, generators on. Turn that fuel pump off. They pushed us a little prematurely. They returned us. All right, let's put this to GPS. Let's also get our GPS out and resize it. Actually, I guess it's 236. That's a 292. So it's even shorter of a route than I was thinking. All right. Yeah, I need to redo my views. I want to zoom in and get a little down. I was going to do that, but I haven't yet. All right. I can't even remember what... Um, 17. All right. Seatbelts on. Go out to runway 17. Hopefully it's close by here. There are a few planes out here, I see. There's a Dash 8, I believe, just over by us. I gotta clear my throat. <clears throat> Sorry about that. And they're gonna make a taxi out to the left. Alright. 
oh well. But yeah, I'm using the um, joystick today. I just don't want to get the uh, yoke out and everything, get it all set up. It takes a little while. My computer always fights with it at first because of the power. I don't have the AC adapter, so it likes to fight me. I end up having to restart a couple times. Kind of odd how you gotta. Oh, it forces me to set it up, but not too bad. Man, it's just picked a bad place to start out right here as well. I got audio crackling and popping. Who is that? Hopefully that's a not a... Oh, that's a bigger plane. So that's going to be one of these guys right here. That guy. Ah oh, man. We're gonna have to wait on him. Maybe if I can get out get out close to him first. Make him wait on me. Yeah, there we go. He got on by him. I didn't really have to wanna have to wait on him. Yeah, caution, buddy. There's somebody out here. That's, that's another reason ATC is so stupid. Keep telling them that. Well, yeah, I guess, what is this going to be? No, because we're going once. I was going to say, like, this is our runway out in front. We're going to have to do the left, but it's not... To see which runway is ours. Some more big planes over there. This airport seems to have more planes than most of them, which is kind of odd because it's not that big. It's a bigger airport, but it's still not huge or anything. Where is 17? I'm not. Well, uh, is. No, that would be 17. Or would it come in back the other way, actually? No, I don't know. I guess there's several runways. We're going to find out which one's ours. This can't be us. We're going to have to taxi on over there and then find our way to another runway? Kind of ridiculous. And I'm not really... Yeah, look, it makes us go across... Ah, oh, jeez. I mean, can you just give me a better runway? I don't understand it. That's why I don't like using these people. Although this is 1735. How much room we got? Uh, not enough. I was going to say we could just take off. There's enough room right there. Talk to the tower. Manchester Tower, November, Juliet, 838, ready at runway 17, west, departure. November, Juliet, 838, clear for takeoff, runway 17, departure. To Sweet. Alright, let me just set this to 17 real quick, and we'll get on, go ahead and get on out of here. All right, two notches of flaps. Scoop down here. November, Juliet, eight three eight. Did you hear my last transmission? Clear for takeoff. Runway one. Calm down, buddy. November, Juliet, eight three eight. All right, landing. Oh, we forgot our taxi lights. Jeez, H. All right, uh, strobe. Then we're good. I've got the stupid taxi lights. The passengers weren't didn't care. I wonder if we'll get dinged for it. Might very well. I don't know why I got all this crackling and popping in my audio. 
All right. I wonder if I'll get busted for rolling takeoff by the passengers. I hope not. All right, and away we go. Good thing we're a small plane and can do that. Mid runway takeoff. This is not runway one seven. I don't. This is like two one. I think we screwed up and took a wrong runway. Right? Hell, I don't know. Now, this is very odd. <laughs> what other runway would it have... I don't get it. Get rid of these flaps. Can control it a lot better, <laughs> you know, with the joystick. Swing back by around the airport. Maybe we can actually see that guy if we stay kind of low. Where that guy's taken off from? Because that uh, that could not have been one seven because of the heading on the dial uh, did not have one seven. It didn't make any sense. Unless there was just another intersecting runway that I did not see, wasn't paying attention to. Now there's just the one runway there, and then that. See, that guy is still taxing. I don't know why he's still taxing for. Yeah, this doesn't make any sense. I'm, co I'm really confused by that. Alright, let me trim this thing out a little better. The head movement's off. Uh, took off the GPS. There's Manchester. I, said, I guess it is a fairly big area. It's not a massive airport or anything. So I'm just going to get off path a little bit because I want to go over the city a little bit more. Check out Manchester. A little bit bigger than I thought. The airport's a little bit bigger than I had figured too. I can't remember if it's an international airport or not. I think I actually talked about that in the last episode, but I can't remember. I actually did two fairly quick episodes last time. It's been a little bit since I've actually flown FS passengers. Take a look outside. Maybe we can see more. What is that? A UFO? UFO landing? Not too bad, city center. The burbs. We haven't gotten very far, have we? I don't see homeboy there, Pacifica. Have they even told us that we're out of their area? Well, there you go. Speak of the devil. All right. Bring up the GPS, autopilot, nav, and altitude. Yeah, it's going to super instead of just gliding over there, it's got to turn to it. Another thing that doesn't make sense. We check out, make sure we got everything. No strobe. You can landing lights still on. All right. So it shouldn't be too long, maybe two hours or so. 
It's not too long of a flight. But like I said, yeah, it'll probably be our last one. Eh, head shakes around. In this plane, I think we're going to buy that TBM. What was it? TBM 850 or something like that? I'll do that early. Uh, well, first thing in the next episode, though. And uh, maybe we'll check it out in this one. And then buy it in the next one. It's kind of odd. Alright, but everything looks good so far. So I will go ahead and speed it up. And uh, I'll be back in just a little bit.
Iliad. Alright everybody, we slowed it down a little bit to 2x. Uh, we should be in radio range. Maybe we just barely got enough fuel. We gotta keep doing that. Let's forget, it's the range is at 55% power, and I usually don't go down that far on the power. Um, let's see, CYND. Here we go. How do I get no... Oh, there's no tower here. How about we just go straight in here, then? I'll go runway 27. And we'll now start position. Let's see if there's any procedures. I don't know if there is or not. Yeah, they do have procedures. I'll we'll use. I don't know if it really matters. Um, just use GPS. 
So let's just go ahead and activate it. Now see, my heading is screwed up or something because you can't use, can't use it. Can't use the nav. Um, let's slow it down and let's also start descending. Let's go down to what, like 3,000 feet. You can see our fuel is really low, but I think we should be able to make it. All right. We'll probably have to descend a little quicker too. And that'll help uh, we can get off the throttle a little bit. I wonder if that's probably not it. I thought this was a bigger airport. It's not. You can see that's a little bigger. I'm not sure if the, the big airport could actually be over here. Yeah, that's a bigger, bigger area over there. Yeah, but you can see the heading is a little messed up. See, I've got almost straight north, while north is actually over here. But I've been screwing around with this thing, but it doesn't seem to help. That's probably, we were probably taking off on the correct runway, it's just my heading is messed up. And, uh, this key ADF. is hooked to the ADF instead of the uh, readjusting of the compass. So, that's no good. Alright, so we're getting close to 7,000 feet. I don't know if see it slowed us down to normal speed. Let's go back to two X. We might need to descend a little bit quicker, I can't really tell. Although that's seventeen miles to here, not not the actual airport. Good word, hundred percent. I hadn't actually looked at that. Looked at that. At least we're not getting dinged for anything. All right, coming up on 6,000 feet, we're actually pretty good with our descent. We could actually descend a little slower. I go back to 800. That'll slow us down just a little bit, which is just fine. We could also speed this up to 4x. Seems like it takes so long. But I'm not used to that because we're flying the uh, huge jets for so long. Not used to going that slow, you know, when you only got like 20 miles. Of course, in a jet, that's only a minute or two. A lot longer than this. We're actually sending. Yeah, we'll slow it down to 700. I guess we'll slow it down to 500. Can actually s start heading a little more towards the uh, runway as well. So actually, sl decrease this to two thousand. I'll speed that back up to seven. Seven hundred feet a minute. So we don't really. The way we're approaching it, we don't have really have a base leg or anything. Let's slow this down to 2x. Alright, about 2300 feet. Readjust it. We bring the range down as well. We can bring it down even more. So I guess most people approach from the other direction. The looks of it. Alright. Looks like that's going to be us right there. I don't know if we should say base leg because it's not really the base leg. Because we're coming in at such an angle. So I won't hit it. Let's just announce our position. 
as you can see, we are low. Uh, well, not anymore. All right, let's go back to normal. Move this down. As you can see, we're pretty much on the glide slope, so we need to descend some. That's probably a little too much, I'm thinking. Slow it down to 600 feet a minute. And still, that's probably too much, I'm thinking. Knock it back to 500. We'll make our turn here in just a second. We do need to slow down a little bit. We need to get our flaps out. I'll go ahead and get ATC out here just so I don't have to hit it again to bring it up. Feels like we're high now, but it, I believe it does say that we're basically on it. We could be a little high. Let's go back to 700 feet a minute. All right, turn towards it. We are a little. Are we a little high? No, we're low. I go back to 400. Kill the autopilot here in just a second. I back, now I go back to 300. A little off course as well. All right. All right, we are on normal speed. I'll go ahead and kill the autopilot. Bring back the power and raise the nose at. Now we're on it. Now we're on the glide slope. We need to slow down though. Get our flaps extended here in a second. Alright, here's one notch. That's the big help because then it, that first notch always gives us enough drag. So we won't really have to worry about damaging, uh, going too fast. So this is a lot smaller airport than I, th I thought. Not that I know anything about it. It was requested. So I thought I'd fly here. Anybody that wants me to fly to a particular airport, feel free to ask. I got no problem. All right, so we are high. Second notch. Now set we're on final. We'll get that off the screen. All right, third notch. All right, let's get down a little bit more. There we are. We're right on it now. Trying to trim a little bit more. Man, you have to hit it so many times with this. It's kind of difficult. That's why we keep kind of going up and down, up and down. We can reduce our power as well. All right, not too bad. Whoa, we got some wind or something. Just want to go way left on us. I guess we gotta go. Oh, it looks like we gotta turn off right here on the left. Man, it is really wanting to go left. That is crazy. All right. Wait, is that a turn off or is that just a? Wait, what is that? That's not a. I don't. Is that supposed to be 
resemble water, I think? That is not a turnoff. <laughs> that was odd. So we need to go back over here. Alright, so that's, those are our buildings over there. That's why I thought it was a turnoff, too. Oh, it's right here. We've got one. Alright. By the way, I turned on the landing lights. Let's retract these flaps real quick. Or, yeah, the taxi lights. Someone was telling me, um, in an aircraft like this, you need to keep the taxi lights on just in case the landing lights, I guess, fail. Since, um, we don't have retractable landing gear, I think that's what that we were saying. Makes sense. So I turned the taxi lights back on. Okay, I did not see the turn line. And we are way off it. Yeah, there is none. It's just... Alright. It's kind of odd like that. Alright, I want to slow down just a second so I can get my lights off. Landing and strobe need to come off, and then we're good. Sweet. Everything's good now. We could probably just park straight ahead or something. It doesn't look like this is a very big area. Making it real easy. I like that. Like when you could just pull straight in, and then when we leave, you just pull straight out. Yeah, you can. It's just a part, spot right here. Man, this thing really wants to go left. I don't know if that's wind or what. Man, it's pushing me. I can't imagine it would be that bad with wind as slow as we we're going. Alright, we'll just stop right here. Let's check one thing. You see, the GPS has this almost dead south, but look at that. But when we're flying, it it does it's not as easy to just set it like that. All right, let's put on the parking brake. I think I just did. Yeah, I did. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, cut the fuel. The avionics, nav, taxi, beacon, generator, battery. Open up. No, I hit the wrong button. I meant shift E. <laughs> I hit control E. They're they're getting out. I believe we can actually hear them. <laughs> what the hell you think so funny, lady? <laughs> I wish there was like animations or something. Like you could actually see people moving around outside. That best passenger is not that high tech, though. Alright. So we can end it. End the flight. Oh, sometimes I, I, I like doing it that way. Alright, so let's see here. Flight distance 235 nautical miles. Uh, airborne 2 hours 50 minutes. Flight time right at 3, uh, three hours. Time on the ground is 12 minutes. Average speed, 83 knots. Climb time took us 16 minutes, 38 seconds. Cruise time, uh, 2 hours, 22 minutes. I think we would actually do better with fuel if we didn't descend or ascend 700 feet. I don't know. I usually decrease a little bit as we slow down. Average cruise speed, 86.37 knots. Descent time, 10 minutes, 47 seconds. Landing speed, 55.96. Uh, uh, landing touchdown, 131.5. It was a kiss. Let's see. Ticket income, 306, which is good for us. Uh, cargo, 118. Obviously, no services or anything. Fuel cost, 146. That's kind of big for us. It's almost half our ticket income. Airport taxes, 2. Insurance, 18. Total real income, 258. Uh, total income, 12,900 times 50. It gives us yep, a total of 12,900. I don't know what that fleet bonus is. Maybe it's just our bonuses. Oh, no. 
Look at that. Pilot bonus 371. You made a very smooth landing. Plus 50. Perfect flight. No problems. And satisfy passengers 150. You landed at the Skidder Airport 30. Long flight 250 without any problems and everything. 141. Oh, and uh, they thought we should be 100%. So we're up to 92.81. Increase to 0.72. But we lost 300 points. Flight regulation required that you have sufficient fuel reserves upon landing. 45 nautical miles. You only had reserves for 27 of flight. So you're saying it was 18 short? That says 27 minutes. All right, yeah, 20. I was thinking nautical miles. 45 minutes, so we are 28 minutes short. We actually gained 71 points, but yeah, that sucks because our, our fuel is... We got, I keep doing that with the fuel. All right, so let's check something out. Let's go to our company manager. If we sold this plane, what would we get? Two hundred and five thousand. Right, and we have four hundred eighteen thousand. Let me get out, get my phone right here, and we'll use the calculator. Although I don't need a calculator; it says, uh, <laughs> "Just add those up." Um, it's six hundred twenty-three thousand. Six twenty-three. All right, so let's close that. Let's bring up this thing. Just give me one second. All right, so we brought this up. Um, we are a C4, if I do remember correctly. Um, select active company. That was not what I wanted. <laughs> uh, company manager, because I think it tells them about the pilot. Yeah, uh, yeah I'm a C4, and we have 623,000. All right, so on the C4, yeah, we can't, we we really can't buy any of this. It's a little, a DC3 would be nice, but 3.5, but those, those are brand new. We're not going to be affording a brand new one anyway. Um, Where is the one that we were looking at? I think it was the, yeah, P34 Seneca 5, which is 823, so much less. We still can't. We're 200,000 short. I don't even think you can take out loans. We we just have to take a crappier one, right? Yeah, I don't think you can take out loans. All right, so 623,000. Now, I'm going to load up the other plane, so I'll be right back. All right, everybody. I'm back. This is, I believe, what we would buy next. I thought it... I never... I thought we were only allowed single engine, but I guess with the C4 we can uh, have twin engines. Let's see. I don't know what the black thing is with the DX10. All right, let's get this uh, out again. So there it is. It says 823, but we will... Company manager... Let's see, if we wanted to buy this plane, buy current plane. See, it's 822, it's 100 percent five hours. Yeah, it doesn't matter. So we got 623. I don't understand this. Opportunities. So we I really like that at 40,000, the cheapest one we can get. See, this is different than the last time I looked at it. We can afford that that one. It says 2,829. It was a lot of hours. But it does say it's 100%. Last time um, I looked at it, it was showing us a uh, bunch of options that were like 63% and everything. But if it's 100%, I don't have a problem with it. Because we would the only way we could buy another one, we'd have to get another 40,000. That'd be another two flights. And I say, hey, heck, let's just sell it. It's Yeah, it's got a bunch of hours, which, I mean... At 100%, though, are we going to get, just because it's got so many hours, is it going to give us more problems? Like emergencies and stuff? I don't, I don't, uh, no. So we'll sell it. I'm going to, I'm not going to buy, uh, sell the airplane and buy that one just yet. I'm actually going to do that in the next episode. Let me pause it just so you can hear me. Um, we'll do that in the next episode. Uh, main reason is I want to save this just in case buying the plane. Selling it and buying it if something goes wrong. 
That way I'll have this backed up. Not a bad looking flag. I chose the red just because it's something different. I always fly the blue ones. Um, yeah, that's what we'll uh, do next. So I hope you all enjoyed this episode. We can carry more passengers. That's a big thing. That's a really big thing for me. And we can do a little bit longer flights, which means more money as well. Although it's going to cost us more in fuel and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this episode, everybody. I hope you all did enjoy it. And uh, I'll catch you on the next flight.